Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me and for joining me in Poodles Advent Countdown. We're into week two now because this is project number six. So if you've missed last week, go back. There are five Christmassy projects there for you, but there's 25 in total, five a week for five weeks. And this is today's project. This is a boy box, a guy buy, a guy creation, just something for the chaps in your life. But obviously you could do a any colour scheme that you want that's going to suit whoever you're giving this to. Um, it finishes up by four by four inches as a cube, 10 by 10 centimetres. I've just put my instructions down. Oh, they're over here. I'm calling this the moose box only because there's a moose on the front so merry moose and the matching punch came back this year they were extraordinarily popular last year and they've been brought back this year so I'm very happy and I just wanted to make a box that my boys and my husband would appreciate right so very simple to make you need cardstock that is 12 by 12 inches for the base and we do our cardstock in 12 by 12 inches. So in whichever color you choose, 12 by 12 inches and paper is six by six inches. So I'm going again with a beautiful tartan from Play Tidings. Hadn't planned to use it quite as much as I have, but you know, I can't not use it, it's gorgeous. Okay, so very simple. It's 12 by 12 cardstock. Trim it down to 30 by 30 centimeters if you're metric. And we're gonna score it at four inches, 10 centimeters on all four sides very simple okay and then the lid six by six inches again if you're metric trim yours down to 15 by 15 centimeters and we're going to score it at one inch on all four sides but we need to move the paper away it's actually where you're scoring it's like 15 sixteenths of an inch um, so you're scoring it at about 2.3 centimeters but it's just simpler just to move it out a bit and again, that is on all four sides. And by moving it away from the side a little bit, so you're doing a shade less than an inch, it means that this centre part is not four inches, it's a little over it, so it will fit snugly over the top of your box. Okay. So I'm gonna burnish up everything. Burnish with a bone folder, don't do it with your nails, um, you, unless you've got, well, if you've got long nails with me and if you go like that with it, you end up with a groove. So a bone folder, you can do it on a flatter side so you can see the shape of it. So highly recommend investing in a bone folder. I do remember, because I got into crafting um, later in life um, when I was... Uh, I think 29 or 30 I got into paper crafting and for a long time I was like oh I don't need a bone fold I don't need that Rah. and then I got one and it was just like oh my goodness <laughs> what a change so um, if you've never had a bone folder get a bone folder it will just yeah total difference okay so I'm going to show you on this because there's no patterning going on and it's easier to see I'm going to cut straight up this center square and I'm going to wedge in there and there and then chop a bit off. So I'll do the first one. And once I've done it, I'm going to show you how much I'm going to trim off. Not very much for the wedgy parts, but a bit of a chunk here. Okay. And then rotate it round. And what I need to do here... Before I start cutting chunks off any more bits, before I cut this one off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak in and I'm going to punch a moose out of here and pop him to one side. We'll come back to that later. And then I'm just going to chop off there. Okay. <laughs> Waste not, want not. So keep rotating round. And wedge in. This is a lovely sturdy box. It really is. There is no open base because it's completely sealed. And we've got extra oomph on each side because we're doubling up the cardstock. And the reason I say to wedge off and to ch chop off a chunk there is when you fold it over, this starts to go on. 
So by cutting some off, you take away that and there's no issues. It's an extra step, but an extra step that's worth it. So if I bring that round again, when you fold it up, you've got no issues. Those sides are gonna go in because that's where we're stopping. Okay, but not lose my mousse. And pretty much exactly the same on here. So obviously it's a much smaller square and you don't need to cut off here at this point because obviously it's no, nowhere near the same width. The last one, there we go. So if I bring that round to a side, you can see, there we go, you can see just these little bits that I've wedged out there. And on here, much bigger ones. Again, as I've explained, just for the fold. So I'm gonna turn it over and grab my Seal Plus and run my adhesive down there. And then seal up by matching this is a loose edge this is what's known as a tight edge and you match your loose edge to your tight edge and that's closed and keep coming around okay and that last one pops inside like that so that's the box base done and we'll do the same on here so i'm going to get a Again, I'm going to put some Seal Plus on. And exactly the same, match your tight edge and your loose edge up. And that lid is going to go nicely over there and fit beautifully fabulous huh right there is a yellow in here didn't actually look up in the catalog which yellow it was i just thought i like a yellow so i'm going to go with a yellow bow and this one is daffodil delight and that may or may not be the same yellow that's in there but it's the one i'm using just to tie it shut and i'm not going to do a cross a crossbow I don't mean as in a bow that's cross but a bow that's crossing both sides all four sides I'm just gonna go like that this one I went round all sides but I think it's fine like that and trim off the ends oh that one's already done okay so <clears throat> it's my Cajun craze mousse my original one then my Merry Moose stamp set and my Whisper White scraps. So I'm going to take the outline one and what phrase should I have? Shall I go for Merry Christmas? Yeah, I will go Merry Christmas. The same as the original one, which is that one. Yes. Pop both of those out. Block there and my Cajun craze. And a smaller one for here. Whoops. It's quite a big block, but it's okay. Stamp him down and while he's while that ink is still wet, I'm gonna get my wink of Stella and I'm gonna make the colour bleed in a couple of places. So I'm gonna go with his antlers. just smushes that ink around a little bit and you get a slight colour change and I'm just going to follow the areas where it's the stamped image is a little shaded it does mean that you get glitter in strange places but that's okay you could do this with a blender pen um, just a little bit of detailing fabulous so zoom back out again I punch him out. I never thought a moose-shaped punch would be as popular as it was. 
last year. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I genuinely, who'd have thought? Okay, and then, oh, I want an edge. I'm gonna take this bottom, bottom corner here and go Merry Christmas. And I've got long scissors, so I'm just gonna be brave and go like that, like that. Wasn't the straightest. There we go, that's a bit better. There and there, and then I used, there they are, the new iridescent pearls. So these are lovely. Um, I'm not sure how well they're gonna show up on camera, but they're, oh yes, brilliantly. They're sort of, they're black based with this wonderful oily iridescent over them. And they are mm -hmm. all different colors. So this one's very purple, this one's very green. Love them. And I'm gonna take three of the smaller ones. Oops. You know, guys like embellishments too. And so I am making this with my, with my four sons and my husband in mind. Um, you know, so that's why it's sort of more masculine themed. But yeah, they like the rhinestones too. So I'm going to put them dimensionals on the back there and then I'm offsetting my mousse. So it's, it's like a shadow, but not like a shadow. It's just a little offset. Another dimensional on there. That's on there and then a couple behind here. My boys would appreciate the wit of that Merry Christmas. They go bonkers for Christmas crackers every year. They might start making up their own jokes as well. So they would appreciate that. But I just think, I think that's a nice box. And obviously if you want to give it to somebody whose colour taste isn't uh, basic grey or Cajun craze, or perhaps isn't a fan of tartan, change it up to whatever you suit or they suit. But I love it. Cute. Different. Thank you ever so much for joining me. See you tomorrow. Bye.